It's Friday night. It's live improv from New York City and around the country. And we've got a great cast for you tonight. Uh, I'd like to introduce them to you, if I may. We have Angelica. Hello, Angelica. Hello. And Sherry is over there. And there's Stephanie. Yay. Margaret. We caught you yawning, Margaret. <laughs> it's later. It's later. Uh, Don. Big Don. Uh, we have Brian joining us. Diane. And last but not least, Barry. Hello, Barry. Oh, aren't you cute? And I'm your host, Scotty Watson. Okay, here's what we're going to do. You know, uh, we feel a need. We feel a need not just to entertain, but also to inform. And so uh, we're going to do for you now something called News Desk. You see, we're going to tell you about the, the stories that we're working on for the 11 o'clock news uh, here on your uh, Friday night Improv Live News Desk. And now I send you over to uh, Angelica Smith, who's got a story on um, ex the expanding and contracting universe. Angelica. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you, Scotty. My name's Angelica Smith, and the expanding and contracting universe takes its lessons from those rubber band balls that we used to play with a long time ago. They're making a comeback, folks. They are making a comeback. And now over to Sherry with sports in the Yukon Territory of Canada. Thank you, Angelica. I'm Sherry Samberski here to report on sports on the Yukon area of Canada. So it turns out that in Canada, sports are ever present. Everybody is playing a sport everywhere. You drive down any street and there is a sport being played. We're going to have more for you on that at 11. And now over to Stephanie with a report on birds who swim. Oh, thank you, Sherry. This is Stephanie Falciano reporting on birds that swim. Oh, they take those little feathers and they just use them to move through the water and just keep their heads above. It's like my grandmother swimming. Anyway, over to Margaret on the little pie factory making pie pops with a bacon flavor. <gasps> Thank you, Stephanie. This is Margaret Fogel, and my God, those pies are amazing, especially the bake, bacon flavor. And we'll talk about some other exciting flavors they're investing in. More at 11, and now we're going over to you, Don, and we're going to talk about this crazy weather happening lately. Thank you. I'm actually outside here in that crazy weather. Thank you, Margaret. Thank you so much. I'm hoping at some point in time they're going to bring me inside. But indeed, actually, it seems to be 12 degrees below the 12 degrees that we talked about two minutes ago. And it seems to be getting even colder as I'm speaking. I think my voice just froze. And uh, on to Brian. Brian's going to tell us an amazing story. He's outside town hall speaking, if you will, to hamsters. Thank you, Don. Come back inside. I'm out here in Town Hall this beautiful sunny day, and there's hamsters running all over the place. The hamsters got out of Town Hall. They were doing a science project on them, and now they're all over people. You see them on the person's head over there. Oh, my gosh. I don't know. So I'm Brian Wilson. I'm going to hand it over to Diane, who's going to talk about the new phase of sweaters, making sweaters. Okay. Thank you, Brian. Yes, this is Diane Burton here to talk to you about knitting sweaters. And the best kind of sweaters are the ones where there's holes in them. So that's the new fab is holes in your sweaters. Okay. And now I'm going to turn it over to Barry about the new light bulbs that will never turn off. Thank you, Diane. Barry Wiseman here reporting from the Edison factory on light bulbs that will never turn off. You know, it's so bright in here. How bright is it? It's so bright, ladies and gentlemen. I can't see a thing. I'm just blinded by it. 
more on 11 at 11 o'clock now over to angelica reporting on how we are celebrating the new holiday tarantula day Ooh. thank you barry yes i'm angelica smith and we are celebrating a new holiday this holiday is tarantula day now most people think tarantulas are very scary that is a common misconception they are actually really cute so we will have more for you at 11. Now over to Sherry with uh, Snowflakes in Florida. Thank you, Angelica. I'm Sherry Samberski here to report to you on snowflakes found in Florida. Everybody was shocked as it was 90 degrees at the beach, yet snowflakes were falling from the sky. Good thing they had their shovel and pails with them, folks. Now over to Stephanie, more on that at 11. And now let's move over to Stephanie on clowns that aren't funny. Oh, thank you, Sherry. This is Stephanie Falciano reporting on clowns that aren't funny. Are any clowns really funny? I mean, they're just designed to make kids cry and scream and think of tarantulas. Make sure you have a light bulb that doesn't burn out when there's a clown around. But now, more on that at 11, we're gonna go over to Margaret for Zen and the effect it has on the Japanese culture. Oh, thank you, Stephanie. This is Margaret Fogel and yes, recently we discovered that Zen has a huge influence in the Japanese culture, along with rice cakes. And we will tell you more about that at 11. But first, over to Don. And we're going to talk about landing on Venus. Ooh. It's an amazing story. Thank you, Margaret. Uh, yes, that's right. We've actually had a variety of folks who are landing on Venus right now. They're finding there's actually lots and lots of snow. And there is also a very large building. And one of them actually had their shovel impaled into their head. More at 11. Brian is going to tell us an amazing story about the fashions of 2021. Thank you, Don. This is Brian Wilson, fashion 2021. Huge fashion you never would have thought about is people wearing face masks in all different colors, all different designs, which is a hot hit. There's so many benefits of it, but at the same time, it's people encouraging now to wear it because there's so many things and it makes you look so fabulous. Now I'm gonna hand it over to Diane, who's gonna talk about the big oak tree that is growing large in Main Street. Oh my goodness, yes, Brian, thank you. This is Diane Burton reporting about the huge oak tree that's growing in the middle of the street. And I am telling you, the squirrels are loving it. The squirrels are coming from all different counties just to be under that tree getting the nuts from it <laughs> so but more of that at 11 i am going to turn it over to the one and only barry about the new fashion of permanent lipstick <laughs> well thank you diane barry wiseman here we'll be talking about permanent lipstick and you know <laughs> you gotta get you got to get that lipstick out of your mouth first before you put anything else into your mouth. It's important uh, to make sure that you don't put anything else in any other orifice. But more on that at 11 o'clock. Now over to Scotty. He's going to be talking about that newfound reproduction cycle of the killer butterfly. Ah, yes. You heard about the killer hornets, and of course, you have heard about the killer snow, but the killer butterflies, they're coming and they're doing it like rabbits. Film at 11. All right. Thank you so much. That I want to thank the cast. Well done, cast. Well done. Well played. Thank you for watching. There's going to be more improv for you coming live streaming over the course of the evening. So you stick around, there's more to come.